Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before Him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you just as you are. As we begin this reflective time, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. The one who laid the foundation of the earth is the rock you stand upon tonight. Heavenly Father, when the world feels out of control, when my worries spiral out of control, when things are just too much, will you remind me that you reign over all things in heaven and earth? Calm my heart now and show me again the wonders of your power and love. Job chapter 38 verses 4 to 7 says, Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? On what were its footings set? Or who laid its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang together, and all the angels shouted for joy? Try to empty your mind completely for a moment. Press pause on the events of today. Put down the to-do lists. Release your grip on tomorrow's problems. Let your mind float into the kind of emptiness that existed when God first laid the earth's foundations. See him placing the first atoms together. Watch as he carefully builds out the earth's core, applying layer upon layer of rock and metal until he furnishes the surface with waters, mountains and rich soil. Hear the angels shout of worship. Feel the music of a universe rejoicing at his touch. An empty universe is filled with the life he creates. And now, consider his question. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Our lofty opinions of ourselves come crashing back down when we consider just how awesome and powerful he is. And still, he loves us, cares, he knows. Let God's words humble you with joy tonight. He alone is God, yet you are his precious possession. He made a whole universe and made you too. Come and join in with the praise of the angels tonight. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. 
switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Rest now in the sanctuary of God's presence where he is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, where was I when you laid the earth's foundation? I was in your heart. Thank you, Lord, that I matter to you in this massive, ancient world. Lord God, I want to lift my heart and my voice to join with the song of creation, for you are worthy to be praised. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 22 to 23 says, You have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, to the church of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, even though this world will one day pass away, your word never will. Your promises are everlasting, as solid and steadfast as your goodness and love. I rejoice in your greatness and power. Thank you for allowing me to be in your family. Amen.